Hi guys, welcome to the Mose Schneider method. This tutorial will show you my way of recording drums. A mixture between standard microphone positions and new and different perspectives on drums. For sure, it is no rocket science, but record science. The Sound and Sound magazine once called it Drums with Character. The character family features the Wurst, which is already known and accepted in the engineer's world, and the new kids on the block, the Snario, and the Droom. Let's start with the classic. The Wurst is the distortion pedal, the mono show off mic for drummer. The Wurst makes every drummer look good, larger than life. The position is a sweet spot inside the kit. The distance to the snare and to the kick beater should be the same. Same thing with the toms. I often use two different Wurst mics for different stages of destruction. Next to my all-time favorite SM57, you see the periscope mic and Omni Condenser built by a weirdo from Finland. It has an inbuilt limiter which is set up to 11 and you can't switch it off. Eat or die. And here it comes. The Wurst. Untreated, pure and naked. Normally I use a gate to tighten the sound. Like this. Then I over compress it with my favorite 1176 in the all ratio mode. Together with kick and snare. And kick and snare without the worst. Quite boring. So bring back the worst. And now we have another worst. The Periscope Wurst. Periscope Wurst, here it is. Whoa! <laughs> yeah. As I said, it has an inbuilt limiter, you can't bypass it, so you have to distort it anyway. Take off all the high frequencies. Then use the gate again. And the gate is sidechained by the snare. Sounds very promising. Okay. And let's take off some frequencies we don't like. Okay, now together with the SM57 boost. Whoa. With kick and snare again. So this is my way to treat the worst. Next one is the Snario. The Snario. The ultimate, closest and driest stereo picture of drum kit possible. You can also call it an underhead, but with no cymbals killing your compressors. Take two small condenser omni mics in a snare bottom position, not too close to the snare, at least 20 cm underneath the snare resonant skin. Make sure that each mic has the same distance to the kick beater where the pedal hits the skin. Also, the snare carpet should point to the beater, so the snare rear axis is 90 degree to the carpet. Now you get an 808-ish drum sound ready for heavy treatments. Feel free to push the low frequencies to the max. And I mean it, to the max. And here it comes, the scenario untreated. Okay. Because of the snare on bottom position, you have to switch the phase. And as I mentioned before, the scenario deserves some low end. And no angst, you know, just, just go for it. Go for the max. Max 
Maximum. And now we look for an octave lower. We overcompress it again. Oh, that's enough already. I like it. Now, together with a kick and snare. Now, without the scenario. Some Wurst. And get us Kopost as well. Now we mute kick and snare. And we have lots of character. And finally, the Doom. It stands for drum, dream and room. The drum simply records the room, not the drums. If the Wurst is the mono show-off, then the drum is the stereo version. Place two hypercardioid mics, like the Sennheiser 441, as close as possible in front of the drum kit, but facing the opposite corner. Now you get rid of the phlegm to the close signals, plus you will get the double size of the room. Almost. And because the cymbals are in the dead spot of the mics, you can compress and distort the drum like hell again. For sure it only makes sense if you have a decent room. And here comes the drum. Untreated. And you might think, oh, what's so special about Let's have a listen to the room just next to it. Here it is. A really beautiful sounding room. And now, in combination with kick and snare, you can hear it already. The flam between the close signals and the room mic. It sounds washy and untight. Something I really don't like. <laughs> so back to the drum now. No phlegm, no blah 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 blah. It feels tight. Now we're gonna gate it. Over compress it again. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Bring back some life. Here we go. The drum. And now, together with a scenario. Whoop. And the periscope post. And the uh, 57 post. And now we have a mighty drum sound with lots of character, lots of fun. Groovy and alive. And unique. Uh, 
And if you wanna have it a dead try, just mute the room. Okay, that's it for today. I hope you got an idea what the Moses Schneider method is about. I hope you feel inspired to try your own perspectives. Nice one! Super! Sehr geil! If you don't have a chance to record drums yourself, then have a listen to our fantastic human beat pack, which I recorded with one of my favorite drummer, Demian Kappenstein, at the Lee Music Studio in the south of France with the unbelievable Elysia Gear Tower. The Human Beat Pack is a multi-track groove library with endless possibilities. I'm pretty sure that you will find some great beats that you can use.